In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Discuss comments on your WordPress website. You'll need to log into your WordPress dashboard and install the plugin. That's a very simple step to do. And once you've done that, in the dashboard still, over on the left-hand side, go to Comments and then to Discuss. It'll then ask you for your username and password to the service. If you don't have an account there already, you can just go to their website uh, by clicking on this link here and sign up. Very, very fast, very simple. Uh, it takes only maybe a minute or two. Uh, and then once you're done, you just need to put in your username and password. Then it will come through to the process of actually installing the, the comment system on your website. So what we wanna do is click on uh, registering a new website on the Discuss website. So what we're going to do is put in example WordPress website. And we'll just call it WP example. WPKB and that's done. Choose a category then, we'll just put it in tech for now and then click on finish registration. Then it asks you to choose the platform and obviously we're going to choose WordPress. Then it will bring us to a page showing the setup instructions. We don't really need to go there. We can just jump back to our WordPress website and jump into the dashboard and then back into discuss. And then username and password. It'll ask you where you want to put it, uh, what website you want to use. So we're going to use example WordPress website that we just created. Click on next. And that's it. So as you can see, the commenting system has been installed on the website. What we can do now is jump back onto the website. And if we just jump into a post, for instance, we can come down. And there you can see discuss is loading. Uh, it's loaded there. It looks a little bit unusual just because of the screen that I'm using at the moment. But for most other screens, it would come up just fine. And then people can very easily leave comments here and even log into their Discuss account as well if they'd like to. And whenever you get new comments, you can just jump back into your Discuss admin panel and moderate them all through there. It's certainly a little bit better than the default WordPress comment system. A lot of people use it because it is really quite good and it will often have uh, related posts and such down the bottom as well that you can go forth and look through and then it's provided to visitors of your website as well. So it's really, really simple to get started and you can migrate back and forth between Discuss and WordPress comments as you see fit. It is a little bit of a pain, but it definitely can be done. So hopefully this is enough to get you up and running with the platform. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.